So I thought it might be useful to talk a little bit about the templating system in uh, the deducer plot builder GUI. While a lot of things are very easy in ggplot2, some things are very difficult to construct and in addition I, we can't expect that everybody will know or understand the grammar of graphics in which ggplot2 is based. The solution to this came uh, through the application of this idea called templates. Templates hide the complexity of the grammar of graphics and allow you to create simple plots very simply. For example, a pie chart is very difficult to make in ggplot2. It combines a number of different elements and let's go ahead and see how that's very easy in the plot builder GUI. So we'll make a pie chart and in a subset of the diamonds data we'll do we'll look at cut. So looking at the different cuts of diamonds. And so very easily we get a nice little pie chart. But let's see what this consists of in the actual grammar. Actually what it is is it's a bar plot in polar coordinates with a bunch of options getting rid of extraneous plotting elements. For example, here's what happens if we disable the options. We get a bunch of things that aren't necessarily all of that informative. But the user doesn't need to know that they're making a bar chart in polar coordinates with a number of options specified. All they need to do is specify what variable they want to make a, a pie chart of. In this way, we can hide complexity while still making it full-featured enough to use. Furthermore, it's not limited to the templates that come with the GUI. You can also make your own. For instance, here we have a plot of caret of the diamond versus price. But we've plotted it on the log coordinates. So this is a log log plot. So we've done a log transformation here. Now it has points, a smoothing line, and two scales specifying that we should be in the log scale. We can combine these together into a template, and we'll call this template um, scatter log log. OK. So now we have a scatter log log dialog, and it has an x and a y. Uh, the type of method, the formula, and the transformations. But we don't necessarily, because this is defined as a log log, we don't want to necessarily expose the user to the transformation. So what we can do is we can edit what's shown. And we can say, OK, we want to show the method and the formula, but we don't want to show what transformation. We just want it to automatically do a log log plot. And thus the dialog is now change to reflect that. So we can save this template to file. And we'll call this scatter log dash log. And it saves a nice little XML representation of the scatter plot, um, the log log scatter plot dialog. So now all we need to do is we can say OK, I want to import this scatter log log template. We import that, we make a new plot builder, and now we have this scatter log log. We can then drag that on as any other element and apply it to new data sets. Of course, this data set isn't particularly on the log log scale. But by doing this, we are able to sort of make a connection between users who are less sophisticated and users who are more sophisticated. Because the users who are more sophisticated can make templates for new and interesting types of plots and share those templates with less experienced users in a way that they can understand and doesn't require an extra cognitive load, it's a very powerful tool for communication between 
academic statisticians or um, people who are very proficient in programming or data analysis and those who are more practitioners or researchers. And that is the fundamental idea and simplification that templates provide. 